Hello and welcome to LA Tips. My name is Alex Hughes and today we're going through the process of creating a one-way mirror screen in Trace Unlimited and CE2. So let's jump in. We've actually got it already sort of set up and demonstrated here. We can see if we turn off these back lights, all we get and see from the front is our uh, mirrored object and that's a lot more obvious if I come out of DMX and we can just see that it's a total mirrored surface and then behind we've just got a bunch of park ends and the way we've built this is we've taken a plane object so that's or a panel object straight out of the library that we can see here so if we go browse and we go panel and then we've applied the following settings to it so we can see that from default we've turned it into glass we've made the diffusion level to be zero and we've turned on mirror and we've set its level at 100. You can sort of mix up the glossiness as required, but with those settings set, when we turn lights on from the front, it looks like a normal sort of reflective screen, but then when we add in our backlight, we can see that it punches through and we can see also the lights behind it. So if I was to grab a non-DMX light for a second here, so let's just say we choose something pretty uh, like one of the Portman range, where is that? Portman P3 Retro, perfect. So at this lovely, uh, this lovely halogen glow looking light. So if I tilt this up and then tilt this out onto the back, we can see that even with those pixels, we get some nice look through there. So if I turn hold on, so it stays on even while I'm in room, we can start tweaking and trying to get sort of the look that we're after in terms of the one-way mirror. Obviously that's not the best focus. And if you're having issues with mirrored object objects, the first thing to do is make sure that the uh, mirrored object is facing the right way. Because if we were to flip this, obviously the light wouldn't go the right way. So you've got to make sure that your uh, surfaces and textures are orientated properly. But that's a, that's a really simple one, just as long as you're following the, the steps, making sure you're enabling mirror, which it will only work for CE2, trace and unlimited licenses, basically media and CE miss out. Uh, you'll get the desired effect you want of the one-way mirror, and that looks really effective. If we, uh, if we run a little bit of color through it, looks very cool. The strobing we're getting is because I've put an object in between. So if I remove that object and we go to the front again, we'll get that lovely one-way mirror look that disappears the moment we turn lights off. Very cool. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Super simple one for you. Hopefully it's been helpful. Bye for now.